What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Let's take a look at my top five tips for better coverage in Madden 25. This is going to teach you how to get your zones to play better, your man to play better, and how your pass defense can really be upgraded after today. So, um, the first tip, or the, or the number five on our list, is, is the... Um, Shading down your deep zones for better coverage uh, in terms of a deep situation. So cover three. Um, and basically what we want to look at here is the idea that often we will give up the deep throw. So when we press coverage, what will happen is if they have like a faster receiver. Well, they'll wait, 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 and they'll bomb over the top. And... and and sometimes we'll go deep, but sometimes they won't. Um, a lot of times they won't, especially in, like, cover two. So, how do we make that better? Well, when we show blitz out of, like, any formation, really, it, it presses the corners. And when, when it does that, it's going to force... A lot of times you'll see these, these deep streaks, and, and the deep streaks will, will beat you. Well, how we can make it better, um, and better coverage is simply by shading our safeties down. We do that by hitting triangle or Y to access our coverage options and flicking the right analog stick down to middle coverage. This is going to do a good job against inside streaks, outside streaks, and just really streaks in general. Um, as you see that, that corner played that little slot streak there. And you can do this out of anything. You don't have to be you don't have to be pressed. I really like to do it out of backed off coverage. And basically if they're attacking you like deep post routes or whatever, you're going to have guys in the area now. Whereas before, they would back off or whatever. So, we shade coverage down against a, a four vertical style of attack. Okay? Um, tip number four, or, or coming in at number four, uh, basically the flipped of this version. So, shading coverage out on our purple zones. So, I notice, um, you know, oftentimes when we shade coverage, it only shows that we're going to change the deep blue zones, okay? Well, if we f uh, do the same thing we just did, but we flick the right analog stick up, put zones to sidelines, these purple routes will play, um, they will play a little bit better on the outside. Uh, obviously, they're not going to be like godly purple zones now, but they'll get their job done for us. You know, um, here we'll look at an out route left. You see that? You see that? Uh, that that purple zone followed it pretty well. Um, and another thing, a hot rod of purple zone is better than a stock purple zone. Um, both with this concept and without this concept, they play stuff better. I don't know why it is, but here you see, I just threw that, and the guy actually dropped the pick. This time, he actually makes the play. I don't know why it is, but for some reason, whenever you hot route them to purple zones, they actually play a little bit better for you on the outside and so again using that sky or that um, using that shade coverage out technique and using the hot route of purple zones can make you your your buzz zones play a little bit better coming in at number three um, we like to use disguise cushion coverage on our yellow zones to play the deep seams better so what we'll do in this year's game is we'll put our outside corners in hook zones call YY for cushion coverage and they will play um, they will not only play the deep ball better they'll also play the run better you see that deep ball has no shot at, at, at getting me deep absolutely no shot another thing that we notice out of this is the fact that they play the run better so here we're going to take a look at this power O run and this is with the cushion coverage uh, with, the, with the yellows you see that they, they stop the run Whereas, if they're in a D blue zone, real quick, we'll show you. It's a replay first. So, watch my corners. Snap the ball. They just kind of sit there. And the one on the left pat backed up. But the one on the right, like I said, uh, probably because I passed commit on accident. But you see, they just kind of sit there and snap the ball. Why is this important? Well, because if your opponent is, is running the ball... And you're able to have your corners now play the run. You now only need you now have one less thing to worry about. They come down on the run a little bit better with the Y Y cushion coverage, whereas in the in the D blues they just they just completely bail. Okay. 
Um, number two tip for improving coverage is to use um, our cover two man under and using our uh, individual coverage. We talked about this in our beginner tip of the week. Shading the uh, coverage out often does a lot of good for stopping uh, routes like corner routes and out routes. Coming in, our number one tip is to man align our defense. This is going to help us in man coverage. It's also going to help us in zone coverage. Here, we're going to be in zone. We're going to man align. It's actually going to make our zones play a little bit better across the field. Here, you see a post route that would be open. Typically, it was now covered because of the man align. Um, and then also, if we're going to cover two man, when we man align, we now stand right over the guy in now have an opportunity to play the corner route a little bit better than we did before and you see we actually are in pretty good position in there and if I was actually on defense I could probably switch onto that and make a play make a pick six another thing we can do is um, globally zone our linebackers and then man line and you see it's going to rebalance those yellow zones uh, so that they play more uh, to where the where the defense is weak and you see it does a much better job at defending in routes and slant routes that way so guys, that is our top five tips to improve defensive coverage in Madden 25. Um, a lot of people have trouble with their pass coverage. Hopefully these tips shed some light on some useful information that can help you improve your very own pass coverage and pass defense in Madden 25. For more videos like this, please check out my YouTube channel. And please subscribe. And also, if you already subscribed, show your support by retweeting this video. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one, and it will help you improve in Madden 25.